case. Right, I'm going to try and replicate this here. We're off to a great start. I tend to kind of just avoid doing sketching and writing now because it's just, it's not really worth it if you get something like that. Anything you could do that would just make my hand do what I want it to do and yeah. be able to sign yeah. my name would be an incredible thing. How do we even just begin to help her overcome this particular symptom of her tremors and helping her be able to regain her writing ability, her drawing ability? So what I'm doing is I'm making a, a very rough prototype and what this board does is I can connect into it through these wires, these um, tiny coin cell motors. So these motors will vibrate. I personally think that what this is doing is it's short circuiting whatever feedback loop there is between the brain and the hand that's causing the, the tremors. So the idea is if you are distracted by the vibration, are you able to write better? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's affecting something. I don't quite know what's happening. I'm on to something, right? I'm on, I'm on to something. forget that I have a tremor. <laughs> I haven't drawn one of them for a long time. <laughs> I've actually just written my name for like the first time in ages. I can't believe it. Mum, it's called the Emma. Oh, brilliant. It's got my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Emma and Hyann. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emma and Hyann, for being here, sharing your story, and inspiring all of us, and showing, I believe, what that opportunity and responsibility that we all have as developers to build that common ground with our fellow human beings, to have that impact. Thank you so much again for being here, inspiring us, and I hope that this is something that we as developers can take forward with the choices we make. Thank you all very, very much, and thank you again.